Hey guys, what's up? I'm Greg, no Q. As always, regardless, we're Mr. Happy 0121. Today's video is going to be very quick. It's kind of like a follow-up video to yesterday's crunchy cheese core burrito video. Today, briefly going to review the spicy cheese core. Uh, only one ingredient difference, the difference being in the place of the red strips, this now has jalapeno peppers. Uh, the price for this, I went with the beef on the website, is $1.99. Where I'm at, this was $2.49, but let me tell you, even at that price, I did not feel the least bit robbed. $1.99 would make this thing a steal, but like I said, in my area, they charge $2.49. I went with beef on both reviews because it's the most basic. Now, I see a lot of people are doing the chicken. This might be okay for steak also, but in my honest opinion, this is going to be one of the few times I would rather just have their beef. Gonna cut this in half. We're gonna get a close up look and see some of those jalapenos in action. Now, if you guys saw yesterday's video, if you haven't, it's right here. Just click right there. You know how good this thing looked on the inside. Now, there's no guarantee that will happen again today, but I'm gonna give you a different kind of close up view today. Giving you the close up view from the table. I don't know if it was a mistake or just my Taco Bell guy taking care of me, but the website, the actual Taco Bell menu says the red strips are not supposed to appear in this burrito. It's supposed to only be the jalapenos. The jalapenos are in there, but the red strips are also making an appearance. As I mentioned in yesterday's video on the options of things you can add to this, since you're going to have the jalapenos anyway, might as well add the flaming Hot Fritos to this for another 30 cents. I think that would make this perfect. Yesterday, I gave the non-spicy version of this a 96. We're going to break into this real quick and see if jalapenos make any difference whatsoever. Bite one. Bite two. The addition of the jalapenos has made quite an impact on the flavor. This guy filled this thing up. I'm not going to say it makes it better or worse. We're going to get one more bite in here and figure it out. You would be amazed how much difference one ingredient made on this. It didn't really hurt it, didn't really help it. Yesterday I gave the Crunchy Cheesy Core 96, I'm giving this one a 95. The addition of the jalapeno actually overpowered a lot of the other things that were working for this. But it did make it spicy and you still did get the overall product. As someone that can take or leave spicy, I actually prefer the regular in this case. Like I said, it obscures some of the flavor profile of the original. But still, a 95 is a great score. It's almost a completely different tasting product, in my opinion, but still really good. So if you take anything from this review, learn from my mistake, add the flaming Hot Fritos to this or the regular Crunchy Cheesy Core and improve this beyond measure. I may take a swing at this on the other channel next week when Q's here uh, by adding the Flaming Hot Fritos and see, just get his honest opinion just so we can have it out in the universe. I really want to know what impact the Fritos would have on this review. Like I said on the other one, it was a 96. The Flaming Hot Fritos may have even kicked it up higher. As with yesterday, I'm keeping it really short today. One quick Facebook shout out, Josh Malcolm. Thanks, Josh. We appreciate you liking the page. We appreciate you watching. Today, as this goes up, it is supposed to be Saturday. Tell me, Josh, are you at CraveCon? And do you see Q there? If you see Q there, please get a picture of him and KBD together. That would be priceless. As promised, Q and I will be back tomorrow together sitting at this desk reviewing food. And God willing, on Tuesday, we'll be here eating the Whopperito together. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media, Mr. Happy 0121. We appreciate everything you guys do on all social media. It means a lot to us when you come visit us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Google+. Until next time, stay vigilant. And don't forget to add the flaming Hot Fritos. I'm telling you, that's the way to go, guys. That is the way to go.